So now that we displayed the simple strings, let's try and instead actually make some real objects because there's no difference actually from the view of the controller and the view. So here we had the old string. I'm going to remove that now. Um, there were four of them. Instead, we're going to add what we call an object, right? So this is a JavaScript object. And uh, you can see here we have some kind of property and here we have some kind of value for that property. And right now this is a, a string property of Academy and has a value of um, ESV. Now you can actually also remove this if uh, if you are in inside the TypeScript as I am right now. But if we are using later JSON, we need at least some editors need the need them there, right? But it's up to you. You can remove these. It won't destroy the code inside WebStorm. It would be a problem inside, for instance, Postman, where you actually need these. But just to let you know, and again, everything's still running right now, you'll see it says objects here. So it's actually not displaying the course anymore. What went wrong? Well, the problem is that right now we put in courses, but we're still just saying we want to use the course itself actually inside the LI. So we're just saying in the HTML, just to display the course, right? But that's actually not what we want to display anymore. We want to display the course dot and maybe the title. So let's say course dot title instead. Let's display that course dot title. I'll save that. Again, it helps me with IntelliSense to tell me what actually the name here is. And I'll just select this one. I'll save it. And now it actually shows the real titles. Let's say I also want to actually show where it was. So the educator of this course actually uh, and I just put in the curly brackets again it auto completes for me to help me I'll write course again I'll do a dot and I'll say educator right educator no lecturer that was the name sorry lecturer like this and again the name is from in here go back to the component there's actually the lecturer here that's what I wanted to display so going back here now you'll see it says the course the dash and then the lecturer. So this is Angular code. Whenever you see the curly brackets, that's some conversion of Angular code into some kind of um, HTML code. The dash is pure HTML. It's just going to be written and then another set of Angular brackets to show something is going on. And this is actually what we end up with right now. So these are the course names and these are the, the lecturers for these courses. Awesome. So that's how we make little objects inside uh, TypeScript and also in JavaScript actually and how you can present actual objects inside our views in the model view controller setup. Let's continue next time with some more fun and games. Have fun.